Hello, I'm Ms. Lee and we're back at the Wellesley Free Library for another summer story time. I have to tell you that I saw two shooting stars last night. Two! Um, I saw one outside from the night sky and the other one I can only see on the computer inside my house. NASA was presenting a website where you could see the shooting stars. I am so excited, so I made a wish. I figured two shooting stars, I get a wish for everybody. So I made that wish, but I'm not going to tell you because it might not come true. I hope it does. All right, let's begin. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Today, we're having a buggy story time. So, what did the dog say to the flea? Stop bugging me. Creepy Critters, which is a pop-up book about all of the creatures that jump, crawl, and fly. And before we look at them, I have to tell you there are more than a million different kinds of bugs, and also that makes up about 90% of all the different kinds of animals on Earth. The first one is a ladybug. Ladybugs are beautiful, but they cannot see each other's color because they can only see black and white. They have two sets of wings. The outer one is for protection and the inner one is for flying. This is the honeybee. The honeybee dances to communicate with other bees about where to find food. And honeybees are such a gift for all of us because they pollinate fruits and vegetables and flowers and they make our world better. In addition to making honey. This is a grasshopper. The grasshopper hops. And it's really interesting to learn that the ears of the grasshopper are in the stomach and sometimes in its front legs. So grasshoppers don't have oxygen in their blood, which means their blood is not red like ours, but green. And this is a huge hairy spider. <laughs> I don't like spiders. Spiders weave sticky webs and when other insects fly along, they stick to the web and then the spider quickly wraps the web around the insect and paralyzes it through its fangs with poison and then eats it. This is another kind of beetle. A ladybug is one kind of beetle and beetles make up about a quarter of all of the types of insects that we have in the world. And beetles have two pairs of wings as well. One for flying, the other for protection. This is my least favorite. It's a cockroach. Cockroaches are usually around food if it's been left out. So cockroaches are really interesting for a couple of reasons. They have little spikes on their legs, which enables them to crawl up and down the walls. They also uh, can continue to live two weeks after their head is cut off because their brains are spread out all over their bodies. Creatures that are creepy. Why did the girl throw the butter out the window? Well, 
She wanted to see a butterfly. Gotta go, gotta go, by Sam Swope with pictures by Sue Riddle. And when it was time, out of the egg came a teeny tiny creepy crawly bug. She was all alone. The creepy crawly bug held up her head, looked out at the beautiful meadow and said, I don't know much, but I know what I know. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And she creepy crawled away as fast as she could go. She ate and she crawled, she crawled and she ate. She ate so much, she crawled right out of her skin. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. Along the way, she met a grasshopper who said, where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico, said the grasshopper. What on earth is Mexico? I have no idea, said the creepy crawly bug. But if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then Mexico will be wherever I get. And the creepy crawled away just as fast as she could go. Next, she met an ant who said, where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico, said the ant. Never heard of it. How will you get to Mexico? I have no idea, said the creepy crawly bug. But if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then however I go, I will get there. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could go. After she creepy crawled a very long time, the creepy crawly bug was still in the beautiful meadow and Mexico was nowhere in sight. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Knowing what you know is sometimes very hard. She was so tired she couldn't creepy crawl another inch. So she made herself a bed, tucked herself in tight and said, after a nice long rest, I'm sure I'll feel like a brand new creepy crawly bug. For days she slept, and days, hidden from the world. Her sleep was long and hard and very strange. When it was time, she woke. She woke and found she was indeed a brand new creepy crawly bug. She was a brand new creepy crawly bug with wings. They were orange and black and splendid. She lifted her head, looked out at the beautiful meadow, and said, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And off she flew just as fast as she could go. Along the way, she met a bird who said, Where are you going, creepy crawly bug with wings? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico is thousands of miles from here. A teeny tiny bug like you will never make it. But the creepy crawly bug said, I am what I am and I know what I know and make it or not, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And off she flew just as fast as she could go. She flew over farms and highways, cities and towns, forests and rivers. For days she flew and days all on her own and only knowing what she knew. But still she flew and still she cried, Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Her journey was long and hard and full of dangers. At last, she came to a valley. Far below, she saw millions of bugs just like her. They covered the trees, changing the green to orange. She drifted down and joined them. All but one was fast asleep. Hello, she said. Hello, he said. Welcome to Mexico. I'm so glad to be here, she said, and she fell asleep. Winter came, the creepy crawly bugs slept and slept. In spring, the sun woke them. Good morning, good morning. Will you dance with me? Why yes, thank you, I'd love to. Two by two, the creepy crawly bugs flew into the sky and danced, changing the blue to orange. When the dance was done, the creepy crawler bug turned her head, looked toward home, and said, I gotta go, I gotta go, goodbye, goodbye. Again, she flew, she flew over rivers and forests, towns and cities, highways and farms, 
For days she flew, and days, all on her own, and only knowing what she knew. At last she came to a meadow. She fluttered for a while, looking for the one leaf that would do, and landing lightly, laid the first of many eggs. It was the reason for everything. And when it was time, out of the egg came a teeny, tiny, creepy, crawly bug. Here's another riddle. What is black and yellow and goes zup, zup, zup? A bee flying backwards. Now let's do the itsy bitsy spider. I'm pretty sure you know it in one way at least. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and to wash the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now let's do it with the huge hairy spider. You'll have to lower your voices. The huge hairy spider went up the water spout. Down poured the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the huge hairy spider went up the spout again. The Grasshopper and the Ants by Jerry Pinkney. This story is a fable by Aesop, but Jerry Pinkney has a different kind of ending. Why work so hard, sang Grasshopper. It's spring and time to go fishing. No time to relax, said the ants. Why labor so long, Grasshopper chirped. It's summertime. Let's have a picnic of fresh yummy leaves. Come, join me in making music. No summer light to waste, replied the ants. Autumn will be here soon. Why toil so steady, asked Grasshopper. It's fall and the world is a playground of leaves. Oh, how their colors twirl and glide. Come, dance and sing. Look at this wonderful mountain of leaves. Come, play. And oh, how I love the sparkle of first snow. Come see. Working can wait, Grasshopper said. Winter time is for making snow angels and snow hoppers. If only someone would join me, Grasshopper shivered. Hmm, where is Grasshopper going? Hmm, what does Grasshopper see? Grasshopper hears something. A cup of tea? asks Queen Ant. How kind of you, said Grasshopper. Looks like there's music and tea and cookies. The very end, you can see that not only are the ants preparing for winter in the summer, but the grasshopper is also. 
Here's a book by Michael Warwick called Weird Insects. There are fabulous photographs of all kinds of different insects. We're not going to look at more than one, but you can check this out at the Wellesley Free Library. It's in the um, nonfiction section, number 595.7. Warwick, the author's name is after that. So the one we're going to look at is the stinging caterpillar. <laughs> this one's poisonous. And those bright colors are what warn predators and people away because it's just too bright. Time for our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. If I hug the ladybug, blow a kiss, <sniffs> jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Well, I hope this next week you will go out in your backyard and go on a bug hunt. And I will ask you, please try not to bug your family or your friends. See you next time.